All right, so we went out yesterday and got ourselves a new air compressor. Uh, the previous one was a pancake from Harbor Freight and with the projects I've got coming up it just wasn't going to be able to do anything for me so I gave that one away. We were given one um, that literally fell off the back of somebody's truck and it's over here. It was a Husky brand a Husky brand uh, air compressor but it's all busted up. The gauges are broken this is all rusted out. I can't get this sleeve to move. And uh, I fired it up and it's not holding pressure, so that's going to end up being scrap. I may uh, dissect the motor or something just for fun. Ryder, we're making videos. Yeah, we're going to talk about the air compressor we got and used yesterday. So, we got a Campbell Hossfield. Uh, from Walmart, I want to say it was like 130 bucks, and I know everybody complains about Walmart and China and all that stuff, but I actually had one of these that lasted me well over 15 years before I sold it, and the only reason I sold it was because of the fact that this shroud had broken off and the fan was exposed, and just as a safety issue with the kids and stuff, I couldn't uh, couldn't keep it, so I sold it in a garage sale for 50 bucks. But uh, brand new, this one was 130. It's 150 PSI max, which is great because that'll let, allow you to use air guns, um, all kinds of tools for painting, um, air wrenches, uh, you know, obviously your tires. And uh, it comes with wheels. They're kind of a pain in the butt to get installed, but once you get it all lined up, it's, it works just fine. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this particular model, and maybe it's just this one, but I am six feet tall, and I'm nowhere near being able to reach that handle. I actually have, still have to bend down to grab this thing, and even when I'm fully upright, I'm still bending my back, having to pull the weight with my back. So if you're a tall person, um, you know you may want to modify the handle or. If you need to move it around a lot, think about getting a, a vertical one instead of these horizontal things. And I actually debated between this one and the vertical, but for 30 bucks more, I decided this one was, was fine um, because this one actually has a larger horsepower motor than the vertical one had. This has got two horsepower, the vertical had a one and a half horsepower, and they were the same tank size which is eight gallons so careful bud you don't want to break it we just got it no. we just got it no. um, we used it yesterday we broke it in for 30 minutes so basically you open up the tank valve to allow air to go out so it's not actually holding air and uh, you turn the compressor on for 30 minutes and break it in this one is oilless so there's no maintenance required other than keeping the valve open so you don't build up the condensation in the tank and rust it out. Um, had no problems with it. Regulators, gauges seemed to work fine. Ran it for 30 seconds, filled it up to about 150 psi in the tank, shut it off and filled up four tires with it and still had air to go. So there was no leaks or anything of that nature. Um, so we, we uh, we enjoyed it. This was a fun little project for Ryder. You know, we went and bought some stuff at Harbor Freight. Um, the just poly whatever line and some fittings and everything worked out perfect. So if any issues come up with it, I'll definitely let you know. But as, for, as of right now, for 130 bucks, I highly recommend this particular one. Um, just remember, if you get a small pancake or something smaller than this, you need to keep an eye on your max PSI because anything less than 150 you might be disappointed in. Um, you're very limited on the kinds of tools you can use. So, you gotta think about that. Uh, pancakes are usually rated for 90 max PSI, which is really just good for inflating tires. So, something to think about. But, uh, yeah, let me show you the box real quick before we get out of here. So you have a model number, 
Um, get out of here with Daddy. This one here Daddy, we have is the 8100 DC 080100. Alrighty. Hope you enjoyed it. On to the next.